Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, Summer Lidishu and Summer Stone got their EX jobs today. They may or may not get a release in Global. Uh, it may or may not be soon. But I'm curious about the uh, units, what upgrades they got. So let's have a look. Possibly this will come in handy for Global users. We'll look at uh, Lidishu first. Uh, but she is Earth Element. Move 3, jump 2, cost 80. Uh, mastery ability, speed up 10, and then her barrage will get 100% uh, hit. That's pretty good. Probably, if she gets a release in global, she'll get that uh, kind of standard Earth uh, party buff. But let's look at what else she has. Subjobs. Doesn't say subjobs, but they are uh, double gunner and then paladin. And then main job is the ranger. Uh, so, sub-job, uh, double gunner, that will give her a sort of medium to short range AoE attacks, um, also defense penetration, and then paladin will give her stuff like uh, guts and then other uh, defensive stuff. Okay, alright, we can look at the uh, EX job upgraded skills here. Uh, overcharge will get upgraded. Uh, we can see the, uh, the range, single target, and then a vertical range of five. So if she's like standing on top of a hill, she can shoot all the way to the bottom. So very cool. Uh, let's see. Used AP will go down and then no casting times. That's excellent for her. <laughs> uh, big damage. And then she will drain the damage that she does. That might be the longest range drain in the game, but that's pretty cool. That, that could be fun. And then uh, one of her support abilities gets upgraded. Uh, let's see, range plus one, uh, defense up, projectile resistance up, and then accuracy up. So I think you're always going to want that on her. And then she has lots of uh, defensive uh, buffs and things, so she might be good against uh, physical attackers. And then uh, job level 25 skill is armor break arrow. Uh, a bit of range, some area of effect. Uh, will break defense and then do damage medium and also raise own defense. That's very interesting. And then she has a lot of uh, defense penetration and stuff, so uh, she would be good against physical attackers, both attacking and defending, maybe. Okay, oh, there's the uh, jobs finally, yeah. Ranger, Double Gunner, and Paladin. And uh, the reaction ability, she has reflex, probably going to want that on her 100% of the time. And recommended uh, espers for her. Recommended vision cards. And recommended equipment. Yeah, she does have some problems with AP, especially if you're going to use uh, barrage, so bells might be good for her. And then a killer bow, you can get that with a defense penetration, so you can really stack that up on her. Uh, she could be a tank killer. Oh yeah, it says bells are a must on her. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, here's all the ranger skills. I won't go through these uh, one by one, but uh, poison arrow, charge, overcharge. Uh, this is the one that gives you, uh, or gives the opponent don't move. And then barrage. All right, and then sub-job abilities. Ah, the 100% uh, hit attack. So that could be good against all of the uh, evade characters out there. Uh, let's see, self-buff to raise evade. Lower uh, resistances. High charge. Reflex. And then concentration, uh, which will lower casting time. And then raise projectile attack. Okay, here's a double gunner. Let's see, quick shot, single target, a little bit of damage. Uh, stun shot, that's a TP skill to give stun. Uh, split shot, very strange AoE, but I find this pretty helpful, medium damage. Uh, ah, the four hit attack, so she could be a good uh, kind of mission, person for uh, missions, or maybe um, farming or three star esper fights. Uh, here's horizon shot, I really love this. And then another evade and defense up, self buff. And projectile attack up, and then tune up. Uh, agility up, and then defense penetration up. Alright, and then paladin. 
uh, Saint Heal, Blade Bash, Divine Grace, uh, Immortal Spirit, Attract Blade, that's interesting. Probably want to turn that off. <laughs> uh, Sentinel, that's nice. And then uh, Paladin Guard, Reaction Ability. And then HP Defense Up, Support Ability. Okay, and then Limit Burst. Uh, let's see, three turns will break Projectile Resistance and then do great damage. And then for three turns we'll give Don't Move. Uh, that has great synergy with her because you want to keep people away. So yeah, Don't Move is nice. So, kind of some options. I really like her on paper, actually, but I've heard pretty much nothing about her from uh, JP players. I guess she wasn't popular at launch and she just went down from there. But, uh, like, maybe depending on the map, you know, uh, you can give her more defense or more attack. Uh, like, if the map is very much in her favor, like she's just standing on top of a mountain, uh, then she wouldn't need the uh, defensive stuff as much. Uh, but if it's more like flat and small, maybe give her more uh, defense uh, things, so that might help her out. Okay, next, let's look at uh, Kiton. And by the way, I'm going to skip uh, these two older units, uh, because building them from zero is going to be tough. Uh, they don't have bingo boards, and then they only have one pack of uh, 2000 Vision Ore for the 40 shards in the shop. So yeah, it'll take a lot of refreshes, maybe a lot of... Um, Whimsy Shop appearances. All right, but here is Swimsuit Kiton. Uh, fire Element, also costs 80. Move three, jump one. Master Ability Spirit plus five. And then Single Target Resistance up 10. All right, we can look at her EX Job uh, upgraded abilities. And these, she is a main job um, Kotodama Wielder. Uh, so here is a TP skill, AoE buff. Uh, no casting time, that's good. That's one of my least favorite things about the uh, Kotodama Wielder, is the casting time. Uh, but for three turns, uh, we'll raise magic attack, and then also slash resistance. And we'll also raise spirit penetration for self. So yeah, she is a magic user good against magic attackers and tanks. Alright, here is a reaction ability. Has a greater chance to go off, and then we'll lower damage. We'll look at uh, what kind of damage that is later. And then job level 25 skill. Uh, let's see, a little bit of range, uh, medium range really, and then a bit of AoE. Let's see, magic damage, medium, and then for three turns we'll Lower slash attack and magic attack by a great amount. Don't see that very often. <laughs> okay, uh, main job Kotodama Wielder, sub jobs Rune Knight and Ninja. So interesting. Uh, we'll skip this for now. Okay, recommended espers, clearly the ones that uh, give you more magic. Recommended vision cards, also ones that give you more magic, and then a couple uh, that uh, raise your uh, fire attack. Okay, recommended equipment. Uh, right, she uses maces, so dust off your uh, platinum mace there. <laughs> Soul of Thamasa, they also recommend that. Okay. Okay, let's look at the uh, skills for Kotodama Wielder. Uh, TP self buff, raise, move, and jump. For three turns, this has a casting time, unfortunately. Uh, here is a medium range attack, 100% hit, that's cool. And here's kind of like a horizon shot, also has a casting time, unfortunately. Uh, but big damage, that's cool. And another TP skill, uh, this will raise, or this will give magic barriers. Uh, very powerful ability against the uh, right attacks, but again, with the casting time, I uh, don't like it. <laughs> and then this is the upgraded uh, TP skill that we saw earlier. Okay, here are uh, sub-jobs. Another TP skill. Uh, this will cast Confuse on guys. Uh, here is a move and attack. I like those. And then no casting time on this either, so that's probably one of her best attacks. <laughs> And then here, short range, medium, damage. 
has a chance of stun, again, casting time. Okay, and then this will lower damage. This is the upgraded uh, EX job uh, skill that we saw earlier. And then support abilities, uh, spirit up, and then ice resistance up, and then also magic up. Okay, rune knight, uh, drain evoke. Uh, this is super small damage, but I've been using Aerith recently using this attack, and it does more damage than you would expect, so... Uh, depending on the uh, the magic value of Swimsuit Kiton, uh, this might do a lot of damage. Uh, but we'll do damage, we'll uh, drain HP for that, and then raise her own magic, and then also give her slash resistance penetration. <laughs> and no casting time on this either, so that's kind of cool. Uh, here's Fire Blade, short range. Has Earth Element Slayer. I wonder if that's a typo. Okay, Hazard Spell. We'll take away some of her own HP, raise her own magic. That could be good. Ah, Hazard Slash. This is a great attack. Uh, Aerith does not have this, unfortunately. Uh, but also lowers her own HP, uh, does big damage in a uh, small AoE, and no casting time. So this actually might be one of her better spells. And here is a, a TP skill. This will uh, break or imperil fire resistance. Another counter ability. Uh, when she takes magic damage, she will restore AP. That could be good. And then support abilities. Uh, the something rune. Fire attack goes up. Water resistance goes down. Then the second one is sharp mind. That will raise spirit penetration and accuracy. Okay, and then ninja. Uh, she's got Poison Cloud, Shuriken, uh, Self Buff to raise Accuracy and Critical. Hide, that might be useful for her. Uh, here is the uh, Short Range Attack, which gives a Stop, perhaps. Uh, Katon, that Ninja Typeless skill. And then the Poison Counter. And then she's got the usual Support Abilities, Agility and Luck Up, or Move and Jump plus one. And then uh, Limit Break, Medium Range, a little bit of AoE, uh, big damage, and for three turns has a chance of sleep. Very interesting. Okay, so those are the, uh, that's the look at the characters. I think probably the best that we can hope for both is that they will be current. Uh, they, neither of them are going to dominate the meta. Uh, all of the attention is on uh, Swimsuit Kirufe, of course. <laughs> Oh, and in case anybody was wondering my thoughts on Swimsuit Kiton, uh, I think she looks sweet. Uh, precious, darling, whatever word you want to use like that. They could have done something to her swimsuit to more sexualize her, uh, but I don't see it. I just see a girl in a swimsuit, so no big deal, I think. Okay, that'll do it for this video. We'll see uh, what happens in Global. Take care.